New at 11, the Fresno County Sheriff's deputy who was shot in the line of duty is speaking out for the first time. John Erickson was shot while responding to a call in the Toll House area back in July. Tonight, he was the guest of honor at Sierra High School's Salute to Service. CBS 47's A.J. Cotta was there and joins us live from the Fresno Sheriff's Office. A.J., he's not exactly a fan of the attention. Catherine, that's right. He definitely did not want to take the spotlight tonight. He kept denying that he was a hero or that he did anything special, but it was clear from the community's response that they disagree. Will you please join me in welcoming Deputy John Skeeter Erickson. Deputy John Erickson bringing the crowd to its feet. His first public appearance since being shot three times while responding to a call in Toll House, breaking his leg and suffering internal injuries, then airlifted by this CHP helicopter, hospitalized at CRMC for more than a week. Yeah, I'm, thank <laughs> I'm thankful to be alive. And this community where he's from and now serves, thankful as well. He doesn't want to be portrayed as a hero, although we all think he is a hero. I think for us in the Sierra community, it's a big thank you. Um, I think there's many times we forget to thank the guys that put their lives, the guys, men and women, putting their lives on the line every day. Erickson, who also served in the Navy, recognized at Sierra High School's pregame salute to service ceremony. The event also celebrating other service members and first responders, who Erickson believes deserve the spotlight. They all, every day, they put their boots on, they go to work not knowing what the day is going to bring. Every day. He says recovery is a long road, but it's not one he's had to walk alone. I would say thank you to, to my partners, to family, to everyone that's helped me with dinners and, and uh, just the outpouring of support that I've got. And I talked to Erickson's friends who say while he was in the hospital, he talked about his dream of restoring his old Chevy truck. And that's something that they would like to help him with, so they started a GoFundMe. I'll include that link online at yourcentralvalley.com. Live in downtown Fresno, AJ Cotto, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.